Hey folks, Coach Josh Wood here. Now we're gonna look at the push press. Now the push press is a vertical movement in which we are thrusting a barbell up overhead through the power of the upper body and the lower body. It's not a thruster, it's not a squat and then full press. It's not a strict barbell press, it's in between the two. Where we're developing a whole lot of lower body explosiveness and speed to launch the weight overhead. So it's a, it's a fun movement, it's a little bit technical, but it's a great way to develop some speed and power in your training, as well as to overload the upper body when we're trying to push weight beyond what we can strict press. So let's look at this as primarily an upper body exercise, uh, but it also utilizes the lower body. So glutes, quads, hamstrings, your calves, shoulders, upper back, everything you see listed on the screen there. So when we wanna train all those with a bit of speed and explosiveness, the push press is a great option. So let's dig into it and make sure we do that well. The key to performing any lift well is a great setup. When starting off with this movement, the bar should be resting just on the front of the shoulders or the anterior deltoids. The head should be in a neutral position, maybe slightly chin up, depending on what's comfortable for you, chest up, shoulders back, and you want your upper back pinched back just like you would for any pressing movement. To perform the push press, we have to get the bar to the shoulders first. That can be done one of two ways. We can clean the bar up or we can start it in a rack. Here I'm demonstrating the clean position. The key to performing the push press as opposed to just a strict barbell press is the leg drive. Having a nice dip in the hips and the knees and a drive through the entire leg ending with a little jump up onto the balls of the feet as the bar leaves the shoulders is going to be key to developing power in this movement. Be sure to position your hands just outside shoulder width. Now, how far outside is going to be determined by your personal anatomy and your personal comfort. But find a nice, efficient place to place your hands that allow you to drive the weight in a straight line that is comfortable and safe on your shoulders. A common mistake is to turn this into a jerk in which you dip under the bar as it goes up as opposed to pressing it up with full extension of the body. Remember, when you're done with this movement, it comes back to the front of the shoulders into the rack position. Additionally, make sure the heels are coming off the ground in the press. It is not purely a hip movement, it is a full lower body drive similar to a jump. 